I'm just gonna do Batman like punching and then I don't know if we're gonna have time for Joker, but we'll see. Uh, this is probably the worst drawing I've ever drawn in my life. Well, I'm not far behind you, mate. <laughs> I love how modest you are. And it's just gonna, I bet you it's gonna be a masterpiece. I mean, <laughs> well, you, you got the ears, <laughs> you know? Uh, look oh, at Jesus that. Christ, oh, look at this. <laughs> that is fantastic. I know the struggles of, of, of a sound engineer. You Absolutely, know, so. <laughs> but you, you deal, how do you deal with it? You did a, you're pretty chillax, I think. Oh no. No? Oh no, I, I, I shut down, I, man. I don't yeah, think I've yeah. ever seen you kind of stressed, Yeah, yeah, no, like, if, if, if things don't go my way as a, as a, as a performer, it's different, because you're on stage and you're just, you know, you, you, you turn into a game show host. Yeah, yeah, mode, yeah. And you chat and blah, blah, blah. But as a, as a sound engineer, you know, the smallest things can go wrong and trip you up. Things that shouldn't trip you up or haven't tripped you up in 10 years, you know, and then you just one button yeah. that you haven't pressed. Please welcome to the show, the wonderful, the amazing, Russell Hogg. <laughs> What's up, what's up? Yeah, 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 no, they're real, they're real, they're real, they're real. <laughs> Have a seat, brother, chillax, grab yourself a microphone. Oh, let's just wait for the round of applause. There, there we go. They have finished, man. It's so oh, great to see you. Too yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the too crowd, kind. The crowd is too kind. The crowd is too kind. Just funny. I, I saw you, and like I realized, it's only when I saw you in person again, I was like, I haven't seen you in two years, probably. It's been about two years. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it's that been crazy? It's been crazy. Yeah. How? Two years, like two years of just being a hermit. Yeah. Everyone's like that, though, aren't they? Yeah. I think Everyone's just like. Don't know what to do in crowds anymore. We don't know what we do. We don't know how to react with people. We're hissing at yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people hissing these days. Stop how? hissing, guys. Stop hissing. Yeah, guys, chillax <laughs> in the back there. Chillax in the back. But you, you, you're starting to work in fibbers now. Are you kind of getting, yeah. you are yeah. busy and up now, are you? Can you get used to it yeah, all again? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, like riding a bike. A bike with, really? no, a bike with no wheels. Fish really. to water. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, we were, we were right, right up till Thursday night. The twenty first of this month, we were. Are we going ahead? Are we not with the, with the restrictions? Where are they going to let us? You know, where they're going to keep their promise and let us open up and all this kind of stuff. So they did. They kind of we came back with uh, with a clearer path of how we we're going to go with uh, with all the new uh, regulation, all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. So we were. So we, we thankfully we didn't have to cancel any gigs. Basically. Yeah, it was weird because the, the first <coughs> announcement was like, oh. Uh, Nightclubs, yeah, and then gigs sitting, yeah, with masks, and, and it just didn't. And, and obviously, there was a lot of like frustration and anger and confusion over what that meant. Mm. And and fair play to the uh, the the I think uh, the powers that be that kind yeah. of went back in and, and hashed it out. The, I think it was the the arts council and the music collective and, uh, yeah. and the witness association kind of came in and said, "Look, guys, we need clarity." Yeah, and they got us. Fair play, they got yeah. it. Like so. We were all full full steam ahead. Then uh, we were allowed to have people standing at the, at, at a live uh, live events and all that kind of stuff. So because um, Fibers is, is a nightclub and a live venue, right? So they get the so the double bonus. they had a double confusion of, of of what was allowed and what wasn't allowed. So yeah. we got it cleared up. Everything's tickety boo, as they say. Great. And where where we're going? We had uh, on the twenty second and twenty uh, third, two nights of just pure. Metal, yeah, back, back at it, <laughs> I love back it. At it. Yeah, and are yeah, you feel? Yeah. Do you feel like <laughs> just? How do you feel about it? Like, do you just feel like? Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we we were in. Um, we had we had uh, a brand new sound system being put in up, upstairs. Nice. We got a brand new uh, floorboards for the stage. Brand new carpets. Got everything nice and shiny looking. Great. And shiny, fibber yeah. shiny. Well, I mean, now the, dank, the, 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 the dank came back pretty quickly. You know, <laughs> you know, you, you can't be fibbers without a bit of dank. You can't avoid the dank. Yeah. yeah. So, like, yeah. I mean, it's still, you know, we haven't, we haven't forgotten who we are. Good man. You know Good man. I love it. And and have you played any gigs since? Did you play them um, recently? In I was playing Shine the first of October with their fantastic series uh, into the back door. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. An of absolutely course. amazing Livestream, series. Was it or uh, no, it was no, it was just live gigs. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah, okay, great, I, great. I was involved with them. Um, their previous uh, streaming gigs on was uh, it was Christmas last year, I think. It I was. remember that was live stream, and that was live stream stuff. Yeah. And I was being, uh, I was uh, doing sound for that and post production. Great. I didn't actually get to play, but uh, 
Oh, again, amazing, amazing uh, bunch of, uh, of of artists and Into the Outdoor is still going, or Into the Back Door is still going on uh, till uh, the end Jailbird, of the month. Jailbird, our guest today, performed on Friday just there. I That's think? right, and yeah. apparently brought the house down with them. I heard yeah. it was a fantastic. I, there was a, there's a, there's a, one of the lads in working in Chine, uh He was being inundated with can I get guest list? Can I get on? And there was a queue out the door for them. Apparently, really? the Jeez. place was up, and Mick Pyro as well, another yeah Dublin legend. Absolutely, yeah. Um, who was out there? Uh, the two of them uh, apparently did an absolutely fantastic show. I raged and I missed it myself. I was I was working. Yeah. It was my first night back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, doing my own stuff uh, or back in Fibbers, like so. But I was raging. I missed that. Gig, I have to say, but uh, by all accounts, I've heard it was an absolute smasher of a gig. That's awesome. So everywhere is packed now. It seems, which is great. Everyone's hungry. <clears throat> yeah, it seems. It seems that way always, uh, which is good. So, you know, it's it's mm. we're finally on the on the on the on the road back yeah. to the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, you know, yeah, we're yeah. we're finally we're finally allowed out. Yeah, and 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 gig and, and see our friends again. You and know? T- I know, yeah. And you know? it's mad that we held on for so long. And fair play to all of us for mm. being able to go through all that shy. How, yeah. how was it for, like? What did you get up to? You, you, you mentioned hermit and stuff. Did you did you work on music <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that? Or I mean, we all I had d- no choice to be a hermit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's funny with me. The less I do, or the less I have to do, the less I do. My brain doesn't mm. work unless I have things to do. Right. Yeah. So creativity for me uh, is a push when I don't have a million things to do. Mm. If I only have this one thing to do, like whether it's record, like you know, I have to literally get myself up and into my. Li- I have a little studio in, in the house now, just in the just in the in the box room. Yeah, and that's where I, that's where where I recorded uh, Shadows, the first right. single. Yeah, yeah. And I'm currently recording uh, some other stuff now as well, and hopefully getting something out there. I also have a back catalog. See, I did a, an album about ten years ago called Man on Fire, and never released it. Just had a had a a, a launch night. Had people down. Uh, we had an industry night. We were kind of we were. Playing in front of uh, a few industry heads, we had um, uh, an A and R rep from Warner Brothers was came over to have a talk with us and did a seminar with us. We had a couple of uh, uh, sound engineers and producers from uh, Real World Recordings. Um, it's Peter Gabriel's uh, studio in London. Wow! They came over and had a chat with us, just talking about the industry. And uh, there was a few of us, a few bands, kind of got together with uh, a couple of other guys to kind of organise this. Mm. Uh, and we had Stevie Wonder's manager over as well. What? And this is about 10 years now, maybe a little longer than 10 years ago. We had it in, um, this, I'm trying to remember now where we had it. We had it in a, in a oh, where was Smithfield, it was okay. a, a venue in Smithfield. Uh, the name is absolutely gone from my head, the name of the, of the venue. Um, it's not there anymore, I guess. Oh, is no, it? it is there. It's it's a, it's a, it's, 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 no, no it's, a, it's the hostel. I can't think of the name oh, of it. Oh, yeah, I know. Which one. It's kind of in the middle of the, the square, it's right isn't be, it? It's right, beside the, it's right beside James's distillery. Yeah, I can't remember and what I can't it is, remember. Yeah. For the life of me. I played a quiz sh- in mm. there. We won a Lovely quiz Lovely place. There. Real nice yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, it's nice actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and for the life of me, I can't remember and the name. And you were with a band at that stage, was it? I, we had a full band that, on that night, yeah. yeah. So we uh, we rehearsed uh, our, our shows and had a full band. And uh, again, the album was like, I think there's 10 tracks on it. Yeah. And just didn't, did just, 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 that's where it went. That's where it went. And that's where I left it. And what, what made you kind of and leave it? Like what was kind of the... Apathy. Yeah. <laughs> Not so much apathy. Um, I don't know. Uh, like streaming wasn't, and and uh, you know Spotify wasn't a thing at the time. Yeah. Uh, iTunes was, but iTunes was pretty hard to get onto at the time. Really, it wasn't. Was it, yeah. it, it was kind of a. It's not as easily accessible nowadays to get your music online as it was in its infancy, yeah. which was about 10, 12 th- you know years ago. Like you needed but a manager, no, probably you needed I, guidance. You know, we just we just didn't know how to put it on. Yeah, and yeah. so when the time came around where you can actually literally just go onto Bandcamp, pay or forty go quid or whatever yeah, for a yearly CD Baby or mm. DistroKid or one of these places, yeah, and they just do it for you. I mean, you can make um, your own you know graphic I mean? design really easily nowadays. Yeah, as well, you isn't know, it? and it's and yeah. it's, and it's like you know online music now and, and, and putting your music online now is just so much easier than it was back then. Yeah. So I do you think that's a good thing? Like, yeah, I do. I honestly yeah. do because now, like, I can you know, I, if I have a song that I'm happy with, like Shadows, we finished mm. finished that song in the spring and just put it straight up, you know, yeah. put it straight up. And uh, now with with the help of my uh, wife, who uh, is my manager at the moment, amazing. Yeah, um, she did, she finished a course in uh, college in uh, Dunleary uh, music production. And uh, she, as part of her project, she was getting stuff uh, done. She's getting stuff ready for me to go online on that. So actually, what, what, whatever I have online now is is is, is due to Fantastic. her and, and her uh, commitment to to her to her uh, craft. And, and she, uh, yeah. yeah. And tell us about the instrumentation on the on the track as well. We have got some great piano on there as well. And tell us who. Yeah. Kind of so this was, it was all the instrumentation was all me. Um, 
did it uh, recorded on a just a DAW system, uh, Logic Pro. Cool. Uh, but the, the 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 piano was actually I wrote the piano line a long time ago. Mm. I just had this in my head, this kind of sparse idea for the song, mm. and didn't really have any lyrics to it. Just had this idea, and it was more it was more kind of a a cinematic feel I wanted for the for the for the song. You know, kind of scenes in my head and what kind of music goes with that type of a scene because I love mm. I'm a I'm a I'm a big cinema buff. I love I love uh, Have you seen Dune yet? Yeah. Haven't. Are you excited about it? I am mad to see that show. I saw it yesterday. Is it any good? It's fucking unbelievable. I've heard it's I've heard I tell you what, I've heard mixed reviews to be Did honest. You? I've heard mixed reviews, yes. Are, they, are, uh, are the ones that say it's bad have seen the, the older version or read the I think book? the ones who have seen the older version have said it's good because that old version is, it's, that's a tough watch, man. Yeah. I don't know if you've watched I it. Seen, no, I'm planning to one, watch it yeah, now it's a, because oh, I watched it. It's the, a tough watch, dude. It? Oh, stop. It's a tough watch. Yeah. Uh, Imagine watching Jodorowsky's one, though. Yeah, yeah. That, that one didn't get released. No, apparently, yeah, I, like, yeah. I stayed up late last night watching the documentary on that thing, man. Really? After watching the movie, yeah. it, was, it was so fascinating. And you know what? The documentary is probably better than the movie. Yeah, probably. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Because there's a few out there at the moment. There's, a, there's another one, a uh, documentary or movie that hasn't gotten made. One of uh, Kevin Smith's uh, film. He wrote, a, he wrote a, a Superman script, Superman Lives. Have you heard this one? No, no. Oh my God, this is crazy, right? So this, the, the script was uh, written by Kevin Smith of uh, Jane Silent Bob fame, who's written so many. He used to write for Daredevil as well, uh, the comic books and all this kind of okay. stuff. And he's a big comic book guy. Um, and he was tasked for this film anyway to write a script. He wrote a script for it, and it kind of got changed as they do. Yeah. Uh, but they got Tim Burton of uh, we all know who Tim Burton is. Yeah, yeah. We got they got him in to direct the film, so he kind of co-wrote the film with him. And none other than Nicolas Cage was going to be oh the Man of Steel, Jesus Superman. Christ. So, and the idea was like, <laughs> Imagine I that. mean, what a weird film. Yeah, what yeah. What a weird concept. And his concept, his idea was, uh, Tim Burton's idea was, well, you know the concept of Superman is a weird concept anyway, so we need to get a weird actor into playing. Right, we've got to make it weirder. It's yeah, already weird, yeah, so we'll just yeah. make it even, take it to the next level. And there level. was supposed to be a cameo of uh, Michael Keaton's Batman in it, and uh, there was like, there was a whole big thing about it, but it, it actually got to pre-production. There's actually, you can actually see pre-production stills of uh, Nicolas Cage in a Superman oh costume. My God, it's amazing. Yeah? It's amazing. Like, it's like, well, it's amazingly interesting. Let's put yeah, it that yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, check it out. And he's, uh, Kevin Smith's trying to be getting this this documentary funded now. So I think he has a go for me page uh, to get the documentary finished about this film that never happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just, it's like, I, I, it's I, watched, the, I watched the it? worst, I watched the first like 15 minutes they had it up uh, live and it's wild. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like so interesting. What could have been? Yeah. You know I mean, I, I, guess, I like, mean, how, how they would have changed the landscape of, of comic I mean, book movies. The aesthetic this, of, like, of Tim yeah, Burton yeah. stuff, like in the Superman yeah, movie. In a is Superman strange, movie. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, absolutely. Wow. Like, it would be pretty dark, but I suppose, I wonder if there'd be a bit of humor and stuff. And weird. And like, the. Would it work, do you reckon, for Superman? Like, because you're a big comic book buff, right? Yeah. You're a big DC universe DC kind of, fan, yeah, yeah. yeah. So would you, do you think that is acceptable? Would DC fans go like, here, this is an absolute joke? Or do you well, I mean, you have, to, you have to recognize the time in which it was made as well. It was made in the late 90s, this film. Mm -hmm. So in the late 90s, uh, you know, DC films or, or comic book movies were a joke, really. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. They weren't really taken seriously. And, and like I mean, the old and, Batman and, and Robins. I mean, they, they weren't really taken seriously by mm -hmm. Hollywood. Or by Hollywood filmmakers, they were, you know what I mean. I mean, we had, I mean, again, Tim Burton has, uh, you know, he really did do a lot for the genre and his dark spin on the two Batman films that he did in '89 and '92. Mm -hmm. And then following on from that, there was the animated series uh, was heavily influenced by Tim Burton, the Batman animated series, and then that went to heavily influence other films. So you kind of like when you're as big a nerd about things that I, as I am, you kind of see the linear path of movies right. and how, oh, yeah. and then you know people kind of attribute. Um, Brian Singer's X Men, the first okay. X Men movie, two thousand and one, I think that was, being the the start of the superhero renaissance, as they call it, right? With Avengers you know, then coming in and all, and all this kind yeah, of stuff, yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. then people harking back even to Blade, nineteen ninety seven, mm. as is, and people don't realize that that's actually a comic book character sometimes. Yeah, I didn't. And now he's going back in. Uh, Mahershala Ali is playing him in the MCU now. He's that's going to be really exciting. Wow, wow. So I know too there much. I know too much I mean, about it. Could be, I mean, you could do a whole show about this. Like, this really is the good. thing now. This is the thing. But we are going to have a, a fun segment together, which is going to yeah. include some of this stuff. Okay. We also do have a Q&A, guys. So do ask um, our, uh, well, comic book 
both DC, but, but also <laughs> musician, of course, don't forget. Uh, I also um, play the music. So. He also plays the music, so we're, we're, we're going to promote a bit of that too. Um, but we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have a Q&A now in a second. Um, so get your questions up there, guys. I've got the comments there. We can kind of see, see them here. And um, we're going to play uh, one of uh, Russell's pre-record songs, which he recorded back in the studio a couple of weeks ago. So uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. And that was Bad Man by the awesome Russell Hall guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that performance. There are two more performances uh, as well uh, to go. Uh, so looking forward to seeing them as well. Russell, first time checking yourself out there performing. What do you looking think of that? Really good. <laughs> looking, looking pretty, pretty good. good. I gotta yeah, say. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it uh, sounds great. The guys in Tsunami, I tell you something, they know what they're doing. They, they do. They do. They know what they're doing. Yes. They really do. Yes, yeah. they are. They I, are I, I, I came in to do the, to do the, the performances was a couple of weeks ago. And I have to say, I was just so impressed. I got a little bit of a tour of the place and really like what an, a whopper little place this yeah. is. Like it's it, really, it's cool. Man. It's amazing it's really how, cool. what yeah, they've yeah. done, isn't yeah, it? It's just it absolutely really amazing. Is, yeah, so yeah, very yeah. grateful to, to know the guys absolutely. and be able to do the show yeah, here and, and, and make such a professional sort of videos for musicians. Like it's great Yeah, I mean, that, the, the quality is, is, is I'm really impressed with it. Like, yeah, really oh, impressed with it. So yeah, chuffed yeah, you, you like yeah. it. So Q&A, we've got a question already from okay. Enya Quinn. Enya Quinn. Yeah. Hi Enya. Enya, thanks for, uh, she says class voice. Oh, thank you very much. Well, Anya. there thank you go. So Enya, thanks thank for you. commenting in and thanks for bringing in a question here. So she said, if you could play any venue in the world, what would it be? Oh, man. That's, that's a, a tough one, I'd that's say. That's a tough one. Yeah, because like some of them are real scary. Like, Have you played outside of Ireland? Uh, have I played? No, I don't think I have. I've barely been outside Ireland. No. <laughs> would you like to? Like, is that something that's in your kind of... Uh, to be honest Bands. with you, I don't know. I uh, like touring outside Ireland because I like. I mean, I work in the industry for so long, and I've and I've you know, I, I've uh, dealt with so many bands and talked with so many bands that have done the touring outside Ireland thing and taken it on themselves. And it just seems like so, it's such a time-consuming pursuit. Mm. Music in general, I think, is such a time-consuming pursuit, and you you really need to dedicate that time and. Uh, to do that, to go on tour, to, to to figure out the venues, to figure out how much it's going to cost you, to figure out logistics of getting your gear there and all this kind of stuff. Been on the road, there's like uh, talking to uh, some of the guys from Mutefish a long time ago, and they mm. were doing uh, which are one of my favorite Are they still bands. together? Actually? I, I have no clue. I, I don't know. So. I hope Fantastic, so too. Yeah, yeah, I hope so too. Um, but I talking to them a, a while ago about the touring and it really gets to them sometimes mm. you know i mean they're they're doing these these, these crazy tours they're around doing europe gigs after gigs and traveling and, and you know and it's stopping. gigging gigging and hard gigging and then getting uh, getting into a getting into their little bus packing their gear up heading off for another 12 hour driving session down to wherever mm. and you know and the same with there's, a, there's another uh, fantastic act uh, the lead the former lead singers from the eskies Mm. Um, in Birmingham. Birmingham, yeah, 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 and yeah, he, he's he's now uh, old sea legs is his is yes. his new and yes. absolutely wonderful performer. Mm. I had the pleasure of uh, recording him with Shine, uh over the Christmas period last year um, with uh, their with their and with their he's series. A, he's a busy and he's, musician. He's as well, busy. Isn't he? He's so busy. Yeah. He's just after launching his new tour mm. and his dates all over England. And you're just looking at the dates and you kind of and you kind of look at the. The logistics of getting from like one venue to the next. Right, yeah, How yeah, is he yeah, doing yeah. it? I how don't know he how he's doing like? it. How is yeah, it? Where is, yeah, he, where is yeah. he at the time? Yeah. You know, so I like, I don't know if I'd have the stamina for that. I mean, I, I've done, I, I've yeah. done like. Uh, what about in Ireland? Like, what, what would be a venue for you in Ireland? A venue for me uh, in Ireland. Tony is, says Tala Theatre. Tala Theatre. Oh, yeah. The old, uh, the new. The brand new to Theatre. Is that new? Did yes. They do it up, did there they? was a, a now uh, we could be here for another two hours talking about the history of Tala Theatre. <laughs> let me tell you. I love how passionate uh, you are about you know, all these. Well, I mean, I grew up in Tala Theatre. My mother, right. uh, God rest her, uh, she was uh, a patron of Tala Theatre and was a director and was on the managing director board of Tala Theatre wow, and I did uh, did loads of shows there. And I did I acted on stage with. She actually directed me in a few shows as well, really? which was fantastic. I did um, not know that. For a lot, uh, yeah, it's a long, long time ago now, and mm. that was the old theater. So this, the, the theater now is in its third lifespan because okay. they had an old theater. Um, it was basically just a, a, an old, an old uh, crate shed almost at the back of somewhere. I can't remember exactly what it was like the back of Time of Park somewhere like that. Then they got a new theater at the back of uh, the um, 
I can't even name the names. There's a pub yeah. in, in the apartment. I don't know Tala at all, yeah, by the way. Yeah, pub, no, like, I can't even help there's, you. There's the, the Cooker's Nest. Right, okay. There's a, there's a name of a pub on the Green Hills Road, which has uh, since uh, gone into, has closed down. But uh, mm. they had, or at the back of that, and they got a, they had a nice big theater then. It was like a 150 seated theater. Mm. Then they actually, I remember being on set, being on uh, site yeah. as a 10 year old boy, looking at this thing being built and uh, everybody's hands on deck. And you know, we were we were scrubbing old uh, theater seats that we got donated for us and building. Wow, all that kind so it's like a like, community effort to kind yeah, of get it going you know, together. And, great. And and the, the people involved who are still involved in that, like, and still kind of keeping it going. And then a developer came in and, and uh, recently, a couple of years ago, well, we're talking maybe five, six years ago at this stage or even longer, and talked about knocking the sta knocking the theater and building um, housing uh, uh, houses and apartments. Of course, and yeah. But, build, but, bringing, but, but, but bringing the theatre up towards the road more and having a brand new, I think it was like a 200 seat theatre mm -hmm. with a bar and rehearsal space and the whole lot. So that has uh, that has been completed, mm -hmm. that new theatre. Now I haven't, I don't know much about what's going on at the time. Because, have you played you know, it? Yeah. Have you played no, it? No, I haven't time? been involved mm -hmm. in the new theatre now, to be honest. Um, I would love to get back into it. It's just with, with the way uh, the way I work, I work nights, so oh, theaters yeah, so you are, you know, yeah, rehearsing yeah, yeah. night times and all that kind of stuff. So what, hopefully I'll get something, in, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get involved as well. Like um, on, the, um, on the Noah venues, like mm. what's, or, or like, and I know you played Electric Picnic and stuff, like mm. what's, a, what's a, what was the coolest gig you've played? Like what was kind of the most fun gig? Honestly, the most fun gig I've had in recent years uh, was the first one back, Shinne. I love playing Shine. Mm. I absolutely love it. I thought you were going to say Crystal Skull Sessions. Oh, uh, well, that wasn't Shine. Crystal Skull <laughs> Sessions, Shine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, that was a great gig, the, the last one we did. Because um, it was only like, it was, uh, they only sold 70 tickets. They were only allowed to sell 70 tickets. And so, like, what's it, like half capacity for Was whatever. it seated? Like, was know, it? It was seated, yeah. yeah. And so that's the most people I've ever played to. So. <laughs> So you, that was normal <laughs> so, for you. Yeah, it's usually me and the barman, like. And you sold out. We were sold out. Congratulations! Yeah. yeah, and it was great. It was I was I was uh, a ball of nerves. Uh, couldn't think couldn't think of any of the words to any of my songs as I got up on stage, but just had the crack, had yeah, lots yeah. of fun. Uh, you know, had had friends there. Uh, great to see all the, the the bar staff from from Fibbers, uh, or not from Fibbers, sorry, from uh, Shine yeah. back again. You know, and so did Kito do sound? Uh, Kigo was on sound, yeah. There you yeah, go. Kito's Our own on producer sound. Kito yeah. was he, doing he, sound in Shine. Uh, Believe it was, yeah. It made me sound good, as he always does. Huh? That was the first one back, wasn't it, Keith? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the first one back. And we, only, we, we had only just gotten the sound system, a brand new Void sound system. New stage. It was literally, like, it was literally installed stage. like an hour before a gig started. Yeah, I was about to say, like an hour before a gig, we hadn't even hadn't even gotten time to tune it, nothing. Oh yeah, it was... And Keith was having a mare of a time. I'd say so. Uh, it was but having a mare of a time. He had a Russell there because of... It was I, handy having Russell there because like it was just like oh yeah we can work together. It's Russell grand. knows yeah. the stuff. He can, <laughs> yeah. he can jump up. We can get sound right. Well, yeah, I mean I, I I I know the struggles of of, of a sound engineer. You Absolutely. Know, so. But you you deal. How do you deal with it? you did a you're pretty chillax I think. Oh no. No. Oh no. I, I, I shut down, I, man. I don't yeah, think I've yeah. ever seen you kind of. Yeah yeah no. Like if, if if things don't go my way as a, as a as a performer it's different because you're on stage and you're just you know you you turn into game show host. Yeah yeah mode yeah. And you chat and blah blah. blah. But as a as a sound engineer, you know, the smallest things can go wrong and trip you up. Things that shouldn't trip you up or haven't tripped you up in ten years, you know, and then you just one button yeah. that you haven't pressed and nothing goes on and nothing's right and everything's wrong. Yeah, yeah. Until you find that button. And, and so I have a meltdown every time when I try to find that button. Because it's not easily like it should as, be solvable, but it's uh, yeah, exactly. It yeah, should yeah. be easily solvable. You know, it's, it's, it's a thing silly, called yeah. problem solving. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. or or uh, you go through um you go through your, your, yeah, exactly. You go through your signal flow and you go, okay, it's going for the mic, it's going to the desk, well, but I'm getting lost somewhere here. Is it a cable? Is it this? Is it that? And you do, yeah, yeah. your training comes back into it and your experience comes back into it. But yeah, I'll, more often than not, my biggest disasters as a sound engineer have happened because of one simple thing that I've overlooked. Right. You know, that's so just it's hard it not is. to get annoyed yeah. at yourself. It really is, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Ellen O'Shea is asking, any new music coming out? You already kind of touched on it a little bit, but can you give us a little bit more Hi about Alan. sort of what's, How are what's you? going up? Uh, yes, I am currently recording uh, some new music. Actually, the three songs that we have tonight performing, I'm currently working on all three songs simultaneously. Really? Are you going to do an EP? Are you going to solo release or is it an album? Uh, gonna I'm going to be doing, I don't know actually, I haven't really discussed, I need to discuss that with my manager to see what mm. uh, the boss, see what she says. Cool. Uh, I'm working on, so, so I have a trilogy of songs called The Ballad of Mary Lee, part mm -hmm. one and two, and, I, and there's, there's a third one being written at the moment. 
So that'll be an EP. I don't mm -hmm. know when the third one's going to be finished, but that'll be an EP. It's like a murder ballad, uh, a tragic story of, of this uh, girl from Mary Lee. But it's it's a very much a story of a, of, a, of a song, like you know, it's mm. so part one, two, and three. Um, and then you have a second EP as well. And I, yeah, so I have. I'm working on the, tr the tr so the three songs that we're he we're hearing now: um, Bad Man, Dead Man Walking, and uh, Breathe are all in production at the moment. Okay, brilliant. So I'm just kind of getting it to a point now uh, where I'm happy with it. So I'm going to get a drummer in uh, to to obviously do lay down some tasty beats. Sweet. Sweet. And then we're going to get it mixed, mastered, and uh, sent out to you lovely people all out there in Tinternets. Yeah, looking at forward to it. At some point, I don't know when that's going to happen because I just need to get up off my arse and do it. Look, we're patient, you know man. I mean? No rush. Whenever you're ready. Like, uh, and by the way, the guys at home, all of Russell's details are in the description. So do follow him now uh, so you can keep updated to all of the uh, events uh, yeah, happening over yeah, the next couple of months. Yeah. So let's do our fun segment. Are you up for a bit of crack? Ah, uh, sure. I'm always up for a bit of crack. All right, let's do it, Keto. Yeah. Do you want to roll the fun yeah. segment for Russell Hogg? Ah. Nice. I love the graphic, Keto. There you go. Oh, the graphics. Keto and on the, the music graphics. is really good. Yeah. Like, it's really funny. I like that. I like that. That's really good. Impress me. That's really so, good. Keto, do you want to give us a description on this, or do you want me to fly ahead with, with describing this? It's pretty... Holy hand-drawn Batman. <laughs> Self-explanatory. Yeah. yeah, so like, uh, we're, like we try, try and fly through these, will we? Yeah, Let's okay, fly through okay. these. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are, we, are we getting our... <laughs> we got our papers. You've got a, a hard book there. So basically, we're going to be drawing Batman in uh, one of these scenarios. And um, uh, I don't know if, if we're doing it a poll, or are we just going to go through them? I'd say we can just go through them. Yeah, seems good. Do you have your do you have your uh, oh, your totally your pen and paper there, Dave? Yeah. yeah. Totally. Did you bring your own totally, pencil? Totally unprepared. Like, no <laughs> idea this is gonna happen. Oh, I was. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, totally prepped. So you guys at home can decide uh, which drawing is better. So we've got Josh on uh, our technical team that is going to put up a poll and and uh, at the end okay, uh, cool. of each drawing we're going to. Well, there's two in each one. Do you want to both draw the same thing or? Yeah, both, we draw uh, the draw same because we want to compare yeah, how yeah. bad mine is compared to. Russell, who's an amazing drawer. I know, don't big me up, no, I haven't drawn, I haven't picked up a pencil in so long. Don't worry, honest, so. I, don't, I don't need to big you up, brother. Uh. It's, it's, this is, it's horrific what I do, the paper <laughs> with pencil, like it's bad. Yeah. Right. Uh, we did this before, and it was it Batman was saving Alfred, or Batman, po oh, Batman points at the Joker, come on. All right, how long do we have? Uh, I'll give you as, uh, I'll give you as about two minutes each. Russell's already started here, yeah, hold on. start then. Oh my God, oh Jesus Christ. So, um, do you draw much uh, comic book characters yourself there? Exclusively. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just a hobby. It's like, it's, I've, always, I've always been uh, big into comic books and big into, uh, big into, uh, into just drawing, basically, yeah. When I've did always... it start for you? Like, when was your oh, first? Oh, like, uh, uh, like, very, very young, like 10, maybe. Oh my God, this is horrible what I'm doing here. This is so bad. Why did mine, I decide mine, mine to do this? Much better, to be honest. But no, sure. man. I, I'm actually here. literally. This is an absolute disaster. Yeah, I was always. I do was you always need more fan. time? Uh, man, like I need a <laughs> bleeding art lesson. <laughs> well, like here, right? Hold on. I'm not. Oh, yeah. Hold on a second now. Don't be. Don't be rushing. Pure genius here. Oh, I yeah, forgot yeah, how yeah. Joker looks. Oh, yeah, I don't know which one are you doing the Jared Leto one or which one are you doing? I'm right. doing my own version of him. I don't know. Uh, Jared Leto was a bit of a disaster, right. wasn't he? You just have it, that's it. I didn't even get the Joker in. All right. Well, then keep going, so. <laughs> Let's just keep going, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm taking this one a little bit too seriously, lads, I think. You're just trying to um, make me look really bad, aren't you? I'm just going to do Batman, like, punching, and then I don't know if we're going to have time for Joker, but we'll see. Uh, this is probably the worst drawing I've ever drawn in my life. Well, I'm not far behind you, mate. <laughs> I love how modest you are, and it's just gonna, I bet you it's gonna be a masterpiece. Now, where's my, okay, let me just get this gonna go. Like, I've literally given up here. Right. It, drawing's Wonder, just I mean, one I mean, thing pressure, that I've never like... drawn to. Oh, puns, I love it. <laughs> 
it's, it's all I have. Like, <laughs> it's just all I have. That's the only trick in your bag of tricks, is it? Yeah, pretty much. And like doing the out-presenting now and then, you know. I have to say, I'm very impressed with your presenting skills, my friend. Thanks very much, man. Uh, do you remember back in the days when I started Crystal Skull, how horrible I was? Ah, uh, you weren't that bad. I you mean, were pretty good. I, were I remember good. like going red and just like getting really embarrassed. But I overcame that. Thank God. Yeah. Practice, trial and error. That's it. Man. Maybe that's I all mean, I need to be a good. So come on, guys. I'm giving you a fright. All right, all right, all right. I'm I done. haven't even got the Joker yet. Hold on. I don't even know how to do the Joker. <laughs> I'm just gonna do like a really weird smile. Just try yourself, Dave. You're you're nothing but a Way. Joker, Dave. Hey. I'm giving him a weird though. Elvis quiff. Joker doesn't have an Elvis quip, but that that is dreadful. I, I bet you, I bet you, I'm gonna hang uh, Russell's one on my fridge. I mean, if I was given half a day to draw something, maybe. Are, like, how long would it take you to do a draw? Are you patient draw? Or is this kind of pressure for you? Like, oh yeah, this is like, you holy know, shit, I can see is, yours. It's fucking savage. Ah, come on, it's not that good. It's not good at all, actually. Hold on. Shading is very important. Light composition. I'm giving you 50 seconds, guys. Okay. All right. Like, it's not like I can do anything else right now at this stage. I'm kind of just going to concentrate on Batman here rather than the Joker. And mine looks like a two-year-old drew it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, well, we have something. We have something. I forgot even what the bat symbol looks like. Oh, so did I, and I draw it like 10 times a day. Really? <laughs> Yeah, drawing under pressure is no fun. Though. 25 so, seconds. Right. How many seconds? 25. Well, I'm, I'm done oh. now, finished. Well, I'm, well. Oh, Dave, I've just drawn some clouds. <laughs> right, well, you don't need clouds. <laughs> All right. Time's <laughs> up. Can you fix my camera there, guys? Just a little bit. There we go. Well, yeah. uh, Cheers. Okay. So uh, I guess we'll show uh, one Russell's. First. Uh, mine, yours first? Yeah, mine yours, first. because yours is going to be nice. Mine's going to be really good. I'll show yours first. Show yours first. Go on, go on. Let's see what we're up to. <sighs> go on. I mean, <laughs> you, you got the ears, you know, and the and there's a cape going Can somewhere. Can you focus on that? Like, and actually, don't focus. Maybe just keep yeah, it blurred. Yeah, focus on that. I mean, that's you know, you got the ears. You'd know it was Batman. <laughs> I don't know what happened to his hand. I think he got stung by a bee. <laughs> he looks like that Pepper <laughs> Army character. Getting them I, gains. I think that's like a, 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 a broccoli. He's hitting them with. Broccoli. Captain yeah. Broccoli. Captain Broccoli. <laughs> there we go. Superhero, Captain Broccoli. Right, so we'll go over to the next, yeah? Yeah, okay. please uh, Let's... show the... Oh, look at Jesus that. Christ, look at this. <laughs> that is fantastic. Uh, so do you want to put the poll up as well, Josh, while we're looking at <laughs> Russell's map? That's very good, man. Uh, well done. No. Well done. What era Batman is that in there? What, what kind of version is it? Well, I grew up with Tim Burton's Batman. I grew up with okay. Michael Keaton. That's Batman, that's mm. so he's kind That's of like an like 80s, is it? 89, so okay. I was, what, what was I, six when I when that came out? So I think I might have seen it, you know, not when I was in the cinema, but I was too young, mm. maybe a year or two later. But I, was, I, was, I, was pre, I was about eight or nine when I first discovered Batman. Mm. And had been drawn ever since. Really, then, yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Keith, so what, we'll do another drawing there. We'll just do one more, will we? Yeah, uh, okay, Yeah, cool. we'll do one more. Marcus Carcass uh, oh, is Oh, so Marcus, in. Marcus, where are you? Where's yes. Oh, cameraman. <laughs> Hey, there you go. Which one? This one? He's hey. in the center. <laughs> I'm a, I don't know which camera I'm on. I think you're on this one, is it? Am I? Oh, wait. This one? We, this one. We're confused today. We're just one of these like, ones. We don't Marcus, know which camera good to see it. There you go. You actually good got it. Good to see it. you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deadly. And he says he is the Batman. There you go. You're I'll the tell Batman. you something. Mark and I share a passion for Batman. Really? We do. Wow. Myself and Marcus, uh, we, 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 are, we are kindred spirits in the Batman world. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Can he draw right. Batman as, as I don't good as know. Me? I, I don't know if he can draw. I've never seen him draw. I do. I actually did. A, I did a, a T-shirt for him. Uh, I used to. I paint T-shirts. Uh, nice. Just for fun, and I did a T-shirt for him of Two Face. Uh, cool. Like a kind of monochromatic uh, image. I think I might have seen that. Did you yeah, post so. that online? I think oh yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Great, yeah. great, great. So uh, yeah, he was he was happy with that one. Yeah. Awesome. Right. So are you ready for the next one? Yeah, give us the yeah. next one. One next. more. One more. But uh, this one, Dave. You're like, this is going to be a tough one now. Yeah, uh, Josh, it's not it's not pick your favorite draw. It's um, it's uh, who drew it best, uh, Kozak. Or I know we know Russell did it, but we'll just let you guys. Uh, Anna in, is in the chat as well. My wife saying, "Oh my gosh, hi." Um, yeah, nice so she's actually a very good drawer herself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So cool. she's probably just like really getting some critique. Embarrassed, embarrassed for me. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks, Anna. Good to see you in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm taking a shit or a shit ton of crystal meth. What do you want, Russell? Oh, okay. I'm going to go for crystal Dave meth. Dave left Batman. me in charge of these, so, you know. Fun. 
Crystal Meth. I think Crystal Meth that's Batman. That's a harder yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I've got them already in my head, so that's going to be Right, so we'll start the clock, will we? Yeah, I've already started. I literally can't draw Batman. I, I just don't. ears, man. Just big pointy ears and a big smile and you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, I, I'm trusting you here. Crystal Meth <laughs> Batman. Oh, so much fun. Who came up with these ideas? Is that Keith? That's Keith. came up with the actual you, you absolute uh, specifics. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I love the little uh, the, the the music, the background music. It's very sixties Batman, very good. isn't it? Yeah. But there's a there's a real kind of dubstep going on behind it. I think is there. I should really thank the artist that I ripped it off YouTube from, but I can't remember his name. Well, I guess he'll let us know when he's copyright striking uh, us. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. You, you, you don't, I try to find the ones with like not a lot of viewers. If I find, we'll put them up in the in the description if, we, Ooh, if yeah. I find them. Yeah. I think I made mine Catman. Yeah, Catman. Catman's a character. I I literally like. Catman is arch nemesis to Batman. I'm glad there's Wait, only really. one more of these. <laughs> Can you see this, Adam? What I've done. <laughs> Look at that! How do you do crystal meth again? Just wide eyes, man. Not that I know how Chris, people have crystal meth. I mean, we, we all watch Breaking Bad, right? So. Oh yeah, that was we, crystal meth, wasn't we, we, it? Yeah. That was a good show, man. That was, that was, such that a, was good a great show. show. Yeah, I actually watched that probably about four times. My wife introduced seasons. me to that show, actually. Yeah, mine, yeah, mine as yeah, well, actually. Yeah. yeah. Such a good show. She, she always actually picks great shows. Because yeah. I'm a bit resistant with watching new shows. Do you know shows. what? If, if a show doesn't catch me within the first like 10 minutes, I'm done with it. And sometimes a show does take a little bit longer They're to get you, They're slow burners, yeah. yeah. And, and you know what? They're the best shows. The slow burners can be the best shows. Yeah, There's true. one at the moment that myself and my wife are watching uh, called Succession. Oh, okay. And we're on season three at the moment. And so it's just come out. Uh, and it's so good. And again, not not it wouldn't be if it doesn't have zombies or lasers or Batman. I won't watch it. Yeah. But this is uh, this is about uh, the, a, a billionaire family and the trials and tribulations that they go through. Kind of a Trumpish kind of a thing going on. It's oh, very nice. it's very very good. Uh, very interesting. Fucking dagger time and stuff, you know. Cool. Uh, but that, yeah, if if anyone's out there stuck for. A good show to watch. That's, that's on Netflix, is it? Uh, no, that's on Sky. It's on uh, Now TV. Oh, okay. And uh, Brian Cox, one of my favourite actors, is in it. He's a fantastic uh, actor. Cool. Right, guys, he's nearly ready. Um, I mean, I'll never be really ready, but we'll, we'll wait for Russell to... <laughs> right. I'll give you a minute. Okay. Oh, yeah, cool, a minute. <laughs> I have no that's idea what I've done. a cheeseburger, so... What oh. have I done? <laughs> I got these Those damn man. cheeseburgers, man! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, he's already won just for even doing that. Um, yeah, was Batman ever perceived as a genie? A ge <laughs> genie? Genie in a bat cave? Because I've accidentally just drawn a genie. Well, I mean, why not? That's these cheeseburgers, man. Right. Um, I mean, I'm finished. Russell, what's going on here? I mean, like, come on, you know? Genius takes time, Kozak. Right. <laughs> we're finishing Good up. Answer. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so who are we going with first? Uh, I think you're going to go first this time. Okay, a little bit of While I draw there, a bit of on. finesse here on the lines. Okay. Here. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm going to go first this time. Right. Ready, lads? So yeah. Nice camera, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's very good. I got this cheeseburger. Nice. <laughs> That's very good. I love the shading you got going on there, man. That's fantastic. You ready for yours, Dave? Of missing teeth. You know. Cup, yeah, yeah. I don't think Dave will ever be ready for his, no? No, no, I definitely won't be. No, no, it's... Um, I mean, I'm, I, I don't know why I put myself through this embarrassment, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I love the bong. It's amazing. And he's a genie in a bottle because he's on meth. He thinks he's a genie. Yeah, exactly. That makes so yeah, sense. It doesn't have to make sense when genie you're on Genie man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I just can't draw Batman. I have <laughs> no like idea me. how to draw him. Um, <laughs> but yeah, listen, Russell, fair play to you, man. That was, uh, it was great to see you uh, uh, like live doing drawings. Like that's <laughs> yeah. alive right in front of me. Yeah. 
uh, which is fantastic. Fair play to you. I think Russell has won that one. I don't think we even need to do a vote. Um, <laughs> Ellen O'Shea says, Met Damon. That was good. Met I Damon. like that one. That was, uh, that's from, uh, from uh, Breaking Bad. There's a character in Breaking Bad who looks like Matt Damon. Oh, on towards the end, right, yeah, the last yeah. season and or two. Had, yeah. He was known on the internet as Matt Damon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've actually seen him pop up in another movie he's, again. I, yeah, I, I, I really like yeah, him. I think he's great. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm glad like, that he yeah. got a little bit more out yeah, of that. Yeah, like, I yeah. thought he was just going to be gone, then you'll never see him again. Yeah. But I have seen him yeah, in a few good a few movies. Things, yeah, 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 I don't know his name now. Well, we call him Matt Damon. Matt Damon, great. No, that's awesome, guys. Marcus says, animated series for life. So he's a big fan of the animated series. Marcus Gargis is back with you, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Absolutely. And there's uh, an Archie, uh, of course, uh, cracking a good one. Crackman. <laughs> crack there we man. go. Dun, 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 That's dun, 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 it. Edwin man. having a laugh. Guys, yeah, thanks for, thanks for interacting in the comments. Do keep them coming. <laughs> I think we have to congratulate Russell. Uh, give him a big congratulations in the chat for uh, doing some fantastic Thank drawing with us Thank on the much. fly, on the spot. <laughs> um, and Russell, of course, with a big uh, 83% uh, out of six 83%. votes. Uh, I got 16. Who's been voting for me, guys? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Some loyal fans It's probably out my there. wife. It's probably <laughs> yeah. her just feeling sorry for me. So thank you, wifey, at home uh, for, for giving me a bit of that support. So, Russell, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. There's not it's enough time to fun. chat with you. I feel like we could chat much more, but I'm we definitely really going to... Really I'm, I'm going to yeah. pop into yeah. Fibbers yeah. and uh, just burn too. the ear yeah. off you while you're yeah. super busy and frustrated looking for a <laughs> sound issue. Um, but we're going to leave the guys... Actually, no. Uh, is there anything else you want to tell the guys uh, before we let you go? Is there anything you want to tell the camera uh, before we love you and leave you? Uh, anything just, about something coming up or anything? Uh, no, I've, I've nothing. Well, uh, look out for the couple of EPs are going to be coming out soon. I am recording at the moment um, and just follow me on my socials and find out when the next uh, show is going to be. I haven't got anything planned for shows because I'm working so hard with Fibbers. Uh, there is a little hint. There might be a return to my roots of open mic nights. Awesome. awesome. We, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in talks with Fibbers at the moment. And now I, nothing's on. It's, it's literally just been mentioned to the promoter and the manager. And we, we kind of just had a little discussion about they're open to the idea. Great. Or maybe bringing it back for once a month, maybe on a Monday or a Sunday, we don't know yet. Awesome. But uh, to, yeah, it's to all my open mic family, who I have uh, plenty of uh, friends who, who, who I've made over the years from open mic, we will be back with something at some point. Deadly, that's great so, news. So, so yeah, stay tuned to Soundhog, uh, stay tuned to uh, Russell Music, Russell Hog Music, um, and all those details will be coming up soon. Absolutely awesome, Russell. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks so Thank much so for much joining us. I'm looking Thank forward you. to seeing you um, in the gigging scene. Thank God, finally. We're yeah, back at it again. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we're going to yeah. love yous and leave yous. Uh, we're going to be back uh, very shortly. We're going to leave yous with two songs uh, from Russell that he pre-recorded here in the studio. We're going to be back with our next guest, the wonderful Griffo from Jailbird. So don't go anywhere. And we've got a little bit of uh, goodies and surprises for you as well, courtesy of the awesome local cafe here um, in Chapel Is at Ballyferma. Uh, Bump and Grind. And their details are in the description there. So do check out. They're going to be giving away some prizes um, as well. So uh, as well, if you want to pop in any uh, photos of yourselves, halloween -y photos, guys, any like pumpkins designs that you've done, any costumes, Russell sent in a photo for us as well. You can did, send them yeah. to the email there in the description and we're going to vote a winner and there's a couple of cool prizes as well. So uh, don't go anywhere, guys. We're going to be back very soon.